Are you camera bit. ready? Yeah, not really. I mean, I'd like Neither to get, wash we. my hair and blow dry it. And <laughs> Neither, I'm like, greasy as fuck. We're all a little know, greasy like, right now. I look like I woke up uh, drunk on someone's couch and then went to an auto racker all day and went yeah. to a car. <laughs> Is that exactly what happened? Yes. gasket you'd get uh, coolant from the radiator into the oil it would yeah. mix in and the oil would look like chocolate milk really yeah that's the only way to tell that's the best way to what tell. is a head gasket <laughs> uh, basically like the whole top end of the engine like this is the, this is the valve cover the cylinder heads this part here with all the spark plugs yeah it's like a big chunk of metal and the pistons are underneath of it and there's a gasket that holds it all together and if you get the engine super hot there's a good chance it'll blow it right and when the sensor gets hot it mm -hmm. tells the fan to turn on but usually what fails isn't the fan, it's usually the sensor. Oh, okay. Usually the sensor that tells the fan to turn on is what fails. Well, shall we? Well, we're going to do pick apart. Pick apart. Is that where we're good? And we're good. New podcast, new driver. Right, well, it's not like you can. We're going to pick apart. <laughs> hey. I don't know if these guys are going to be exactly your year. That looks fucking yep. spot on. First stop, we failed. What are you doing? No air conditioning. This is what the car, eh? I think running? this might be a good one to take the rat out of. This one, of, just because the car looks like it was in good shape and it says it was a runner. Right? Well, I need a tranny too. <laughs> oh, your transmission's gone in that thing? Yeah, but I mean, oh, hey, do you want the yeah, what do you do? <laughs> it doesn't Got look cat. bad Did inside. You, look at the, um, you can always just flush it with the garden hose before you put it in. I'd say the front of the fins looks about average. It's not like super yeah. shitty. Oh, no, that's not bad at all. It's about normal. That's way better than the ones we were looking at before. Yeah. That's, well, the, look at the whole car. It looks like it was in good shape. Wait, are we going to have a problem before. getting underneath there? You don't need to get underneath to take it out. Oh. You just, um... Take the fan, too. Fuck. You take these two here off, and then the whole thing lifts out after you undo the hoses. There's no bottom bolts? No, the, the fan comes out with the rad. Yeah. The rad's probably just sitting on some, like, a little shelf at the bottom. Oh, cool. Yeah, then. You guys want to stay here? I'll go grab the tools. Yeah, yeah. sure. We're on a mission. We found a radiator. Off to get those tools. Stack with some tools. Uh, okay, so what do I do first? Uh, unhook the hoses with the pliers, like from here or from here. Probably there. This thing? Yeah, you squeeze the clamp. Yeah, like that. I did it! Then you should be yeah! able to, you gotta <laughs> twist the hose and pull it off the radiator. Yes, yeah, it'll be a little crusty and stuck on. Step two. I would undo these two bolts. They're probably a 10 millimeter. The fuck with me. Oh, what's this thing? <laughs> hey, guess which one's gone? <laughs> <laughs> 10. <laughs> Because this one's an automatic, it has looks like it has these two hoses in that clip there that have to be popped off. See, standards. So, um, don't get janky. These two hoses, see how they're like clipped into that plastic clips there? Oh. Pop them out of yeah. those clips. Yeah, there you go. Cool. Let's see if we can get this to look. Did a it? Bit, bit more. <laughs> he might want to do that again. <laughs> oh yeah, you're gonna have to undo the tranny for the lines. Let's just undo them from the top here. Okay. What are we doing? There's this one here you want to undo. See how it's the screw with the clamp? You have to undo the clamp and then pull the hose off. Does and that, that one too. Does that, that just one. come off? No, you undo the, it's got a, like a little socket head you can undo. Yeah. And then you have to pull the hose off. <laughs> it's been a full day of education for Mark. This is wonderful. Vape break. <laughs> did you not? Oh. No. <laughs> come on, bitch. Yeah, you should just be able to loosen the clamp off so it's yeah, wide and it falls off. And there's two of them. There's one right beside you have to do as well. They are the, how the transmission cools itself. They go into the radiator and the tranny fluid, the automatic transmission oil circulates through the radiator. Look at that. I don't think we're doing a high performance firefly today. <laughs> not, not today. <laughs> this is more of like a restoration project. That's for another episode, Pat. Yeah. We're going to need you. <laughs> you want to just make the car mint before you like hot rod it, right? Just the basics. There you go. Yeah, and then it should just pull off like the rad hoses did. You may have to twist it a bit or... Off of that thing? 
pry it off with the pliers or something. Yeah, it comes off that metal hose. Yeah, twist it. Yeah, there. I think Can I rip it? Yeah, Can I rip it accidentally on that purpose? Nice. You did it. Yeah. Woo! Did it. <laughs> the next one's right beside it, right here. Ah, you gotta, it's the same thing over again. Why? There's two of them. You get, one goes in Why? the radiator, one comes out back into the transmission. One goes in, one goes out. Yeah. Life, eh? Oh, did you get a boo boo? <laughs> Maybe you should have taken the gloves. Oh yeah, you you'll see? bust your knuckle back. Do you see this? Awesome. We have to unhook that. We could try cutting it with a knife, maybe if you want. That's Bottom hole. Knife I brought. <laughs> it looks pretty <laughs> shitty. Yeah. Let's or we see. could try undoing the clamp. Mm -hmm. so, then we're done. And there's a clamp on it too. I'm just holding it up so it's easier to see. I can see this fucking screen thing. Yeah, undo that then. If you can get at it. it. Sounds like we are doing this in a very bad neighborhood. All those shots going off. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I was thinking, if you have a knife, will you just cut the yeah. hose and then take... I can see... Oh, I can get to the hose pretty easy. And then just... Cut it. Then after we take it out, we'll just oh. take the cut piece of the hose off. Yeah. You can cut the hose. Okay. I'm in. I'm in it. Cool. Let's do that. And then we'll take the cut piece off the radiator so they don't know we cut it when we take it back. Well, they don't like that. Well, they... I don't know if they care, but at the same time, they might be like, well, what if we wanted to sell the hose? Yeah. So let's just not risk it. Oh, that's some serious business. All right. <laughs> oh, yeah, the snips might work. Those look pretty rusty and stuff, though. Oh. Such a fucking awkward. Oh, you're getting there, though. Yeah. Yeah, you look. Now I'm like, on the back look, of the hole. You look horse. like you're about halfway through the, at least, or three quarters of the way through. Here, yeah, keep going with those click cutters. You're getting it. Sweat. <laughs> I was I was kind of wondering. <laughs> if you aren't dripping sweat, it's oh. my coolant. <laughs> oh. Here, you want to do the honors? <laughs> hey! Just carefully kind of wiggling around to get it out. You know, the dash it and get the front of the fins. Yeah. Look at that. Stop number oh. two! Very <laughs> successful! Uh, Very successful! We can cool it. <laughs> I don't see any damage, like rusted out parts. Oh, it's not bad. Yeah, see, these two did it. lines here are because it's automatic. If it was in a standard transmission car, it wouldn't have those. We got everything. We got clamps Finally. and fluids and uh, gasket temperature stop. <laughs> Thermostat. <laughs> Thermostats. What else? And beer. And beer. And we had pizza. Oh yeah, we already ate pizza. Sorry. All right, we're finally ready to go. It's and been leave it, leave it on here a lot of hours. Right? Well, we got the part. We are in the creepiest Definitely. part. I would keep this car. I might return it. Do you see that? It looks like we're in a horror movie. Fifteen bucks for it. Oh. But uh, yeah. It was a dick Let's do it again. It should be easier this time. Large blows. Well, on the upside, you can completely manhandle the radiator itself. Nice! nice. There it is! Yeah. Woo! That was way quicker. <laughs> You Look have at to that. Clean all the beer in it to freeze off now. <laughs> you have a new radiator. <laughs> okay, so now we do the small hoses. Um, I would actually just do these brackets to keep it in position. That makes sense. You want oh, to just get carried away. You want to be able to see it. You got a little too excited. The hole there, like the the hole. Just be gentle. <laughs> Make love to the car. <laughs> Cars are made love to me. <laughs> okay. Well, no, I would say this sure is you, a make new sure radiator. Have, make sure you green shit all over it again. Well, no, you just spray with the hose, rinse it off once and tell. The hose, the you get the hose out of where? Or fill up that with water and dump it everywhere after. You have a hose, don't you? No. Cool. So what That's we're right. doing now? We're starting the cart. Yeah, start it and keep keep. Um, how much do you got left in here? Like, because what's going to happen now is you filled the rad, right? Mm -hmm. 
But once it runs and warms up, the thermostat's going to open and it's going to start going through the engine. Yeah. And then through the rad, through the engine and the rad, like that. Yeah. And you'll see it drop down all of a sudden here. You don't have to keep adding more. Okay. So you want me to start it? Yeah. What you should see happen is, you first of all look if there's any leaks. I don't see any leaks up here. It's going down incredibly. Yeah, I it will. It's gonna go down, and once the thermostat opens, it'll like go down a lot more. Then you have to add more, okay. and you should eventually see it like flowing, moving around in there, like swirling or circulating. Once the thermostat opens, it probably won't like. Liters or something. That's like four there, trapped inside. Like just anywhere throughout the engine. Yeah, yeah. There'll be air pockets trapped in there. Okay. Yeah, because the air got in once it blew up. We fixed it. We fixed it. <laughs> that would have saved our lives. This one thing. The rad did have cracking in it, so it was probably gonna break anyway. But yeah. Technically, yeah. I mean, if the fan was working, it probably wouldn't have got hot in the drive through and blown up. Well, it would have gotten hot, but not as hot. <laughs> That's all I needed. One fuse. If only I had that, that rad cap would have blown up. If only up. it would have been in the center console of your car this whole time. <laughs> I know, go figure, eh? Well, now you know where it is. <laughs> so there you go. Cheers That's to whatever. having a night of drinking and having the fucking day that yeah. we did today. So, yeah, sure. Yeah. Cheers, yeah. Everybody. <laughs> it was yeah. good. It was, it was a learning experience for me that's oh, what that was a lot yeah, yeah i did i, mean, <laughs> I would if i would have attempted that on my own i would have literally gotten to one of the hoses and been like fuck no and <laughs> just game over <laughs> yeah. yeah but uh thanks to you uh we were managed to get this all done that was that was uh, crazy I, you've been working on cars what your whole life uh, since i was 13 yeah, so, eh? yeah. Since I'm, you were 13, yeah, it's yeah. pretty much your whole life. Pretty right? much my whole life, yeah. And you know more car about cars than mm. I do as well. Well, I learned a lot from him. Yeah. Um, I've always sort of been around it, and I've picked up little things mm. here and there, but Pat's an amazing teacher. He just taught me so much along the way, and teaching me stuff like replacing a radiator and realizing how you know, simple it is <laughs> and how consistent it is from vehicle to vehicle. It's, it's an amazing thing. You're used to working on older cars. Yeah, yeah, like seventies and older, fifties, sixties cars, you know. And but so, not a not a ninety five Firefly. Well, yeah, <laughs> not really. I, I usually avoid cars like that. I mean, but they there are a lot of them around still, and you know the basic mechanical stuff is the same on a car like that as it is on like my fifty six Pontiac. You know, like you know you've still got an engine with cylinders and a fan and a radiator. Like it's all a yeah, same I, basic things, you know. Like, even though you say it's the same, when I saw your car, and it's, what, 57? Six. 56? Yeah. It is, like, looks so much easier to work on. I would rather learn on something like well, that it's got than less, learning on a fire It's like flight. a basic, just, like, engine, you know? It doesn't yeah. have, like, emission control things and extra vacuum hoses and yeah. covers. It looks very simple. Like, everything is yeah. just kind of like, this is what that does. And it, it would make sense that's to me what if those you explained older car, an engine. Like, a car like a 56, is that's how they are, you know? Like, it's just engine, car... And like back then, like the hype on the car was all about like the, like chrome and styling and like horsepower, like stuff like there was no real high technology stuff to brag about. It was all like in the engine and the car. Now I asked you like, why why do they have all these sensors and all this new shit in cars now? And you're like to make it more economically. Well, the sensors go with the computer. When they yeah. add computers to cars, then the sensors or what tell a computer to how to set everything on the engine. Yeah. On an old, old, old car like mine, you have uh, screws, you adjust and for like the fuel air mixture, you'd adjust oh. screws. It was all mechanical adjustments. You'd just turn and set and then leave it. Yeah, but what about a fan? Like the situation with my car was the fan. Yeah. It wasn't turning on because I didn't have the fuse. I'll talk about that in a second. But yeah, <laughs> yeah. What, what about yeah. the fact that like, do, is your fan just constantly running? Yeah, it's constantly running. Yeah. yeah. It, the I, older cars like mine had a fan that just was always running and then in the 70s they went to a clutch fan a clutch fan would have little ball bearings that would come out and like lock in and it would kick in at lower rpms yeah but it was still mechanical and then after that they went to electric fans 
somewhere in the 80s, yeah. which is what your car has. Yeah. And the electric fan's more efficient. It, it gives you more horsepower and better mileage because uh, there, it isn't running off the engine. It's it's separated from the engine, so there's no drag on the engine. So the the reason isn't just to be more costly affordable. No, it's it, it's better it's mi better gas mileage better and more efficiency, oh, okay. which also involves more horsepower. Because my debate was going to yeah. be like, why don't we just have these older, simpler engines and just have that in every car? There's but, a lot of perks to having yeah. all this yeah. extra stuff in yeah. there. I didn't sure. know. So you you said your your car is a '56. Yeah. And you've had it for how long? Uh, 19 years. 19 years. Yeah. So, like, that is pretty much your pride and joy, I would say. Yeah, like, you know, I mean, that car has been through me th with me through a lot of good and bad times. I've, like, lit on fire. I've crashed it. What? Um, <gasps> I, yeah, I've crashed it. I've, I've crashed it bad, and I've fixed it. I've, I've, uh, it's been with me through, like, breakups with, like, girlfriends. It's been with me <laughs> through, like... Uh, being pulled over by the cops. It's been with me through like street races back really? in the day. <laughs> oh yeah, dude. I've, I've like, like you done. Lived your life I've, in I've, this I've, car. I've modified the car. I've slept in the car. I've like, <laughs> I've like. That car is your I've life. I've changed it and rearranged it a million times, man. Like it's, it, 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 it's more. It's worth more to me than it would be to most people, you know. Yeah. And it's not a really valuable car, like. There's more valuable cars out there. Yeah, but this is but more like, nostalgia. Yeah, to it's you, sentimental. Yeah, 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 you know. Well, and I think that I've kind just of, had it for so long. You know, like yeah. you know. It goes back to me saying, if you put the work into your vehicle yourself, and I don't care what kind of car it is. Okay, sure, it's a '95 Firefly, but now you know what it's like. You went through that labor of love. You picked those parts. You pulled it out. You pulled out the old one. You put it back in. You're learning all of this stuff. Now I could see by the end of this whole ordeal yeah. that you did get a little more attached to that car as it goes on. Now yes. you're thinking, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay, well now how do I fix the next problem? Yeah. Instead of, oh, well, I'll just get rid of him and buy a different car for like 300 bucks. What happened with my car is the radiator, obviously, if you've seen the last video, blew up, the cap didn't blow up, the whole top end of the radiator blew up. Do you have the it, broken piece with you? Yeah. No. You, should, you should show them the broken piece. Oh, I don't have it, like, right <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. I forgot that. I forgot Sorry. it, but yeah, yeah. I'm, I'll wear it around my neck one day. Yeah. <laughs> um, it, the, the car radiator was toast, and so we, uh, I talked to you about it, and uh, she's like, Pat knows a lot about cars, That's and I, I, didn't, I didn't even know that, but yeah. you obviously yeah. do. <laughs> and oh, so thanks. we went to... Uh, Empire here, which is just not a wrecker, and we picked up a new radiator, and I had to do all of that, as you saw, which was kind of kind of sad. But and so we put that in, and then pretty much we found out later that the fan did not work, and that was because he found out that you need to have a fuse. Well, yeah, in like you wouldn't think that the fuse to, that makes the fan turn yeah. on is missing. That should just always be there. Who does that? Yeah. Who the, in their right mind just go, the, oh, we're just, I the, don't The need fan this. is electric and there's a sensor on the engine that tells it to come on and off, yeah. right? When you need it, like when you're in traffic or in, in a burger drive through right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But like, <laughs> the fuse for the fan to make it work shouldn't be missing from the car. Why would it be missing? Like, that's why I asked you if you bought it off crackheads, you know? Because, <laughs> like, dude, that, sh that's, that shouldn't be missing. Like, it's part of the car, you know? Like, who takes the fuse the out and then just leaves it gone, you know? <laughs> Like, it would be like if you take the fuse out for your headlights, and I, you don't need those. Just, just fuck it. No, 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 no fuse for the headlights. I'm gonna sell a car like that, you know? <laughs> Go figure, eh? Uh, now it's all good. Yeah. It's all Fuck. good now. Now it, now it is good. The car yeah. is Fix running. Car. It's running fine. Like well, a I dream. Mean, yeah. One day it's gonna die yeah. because of the transmission. No, you're gonna keep working on it. We're gonna keep going. No, to the transmission and... might be good because, like I said, the transmission cools through the radiator and if that was making the transmission hot, it might be fucking that up, right? Well, if I Everything bought a... be perfect. Like, if just I try it out and see. And, try it out and see. If I spent $150 on a car because they thought it was dying all because they were missing a fucking fuse... Fuse. Well, that's another one. Yeah. We did good. I'm Mark, Mark, Mark. I'm Joanna. Just Joanna. <laughs> You need a funky name. You need a know. name. I'm Pat, you know, man. You know, man. Unless you want to call me Funky Pat. Funky, funky Pat. Pat? Yeah, I funky don't know. Pat? Sure, Funky Pat there it is. All right. I'll probably funky show up the lights right here. The, <laughs> oh, oh. the mechanical man. Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. There we go. I don't know.
That works really good. That's awesome. Cool.